Hi guys, Mike Sperduti here. Today I'm talking to the CEO and I'm talking to the inside sales manager. If you're the CEO, I want you to hold your inside sales manager accountable to the following three things. If you are an inside sales manager, I want you to hold yourself to these three things because these three things are the things that you need to master as an inside sales manager. And your competency level and your skill level in facilitating these three things in your organization is going to be paramount to your success. And the better that you do these three things, the better results that you're going to see. All right. So what are these three things? Well, number one, your number one responsibility is to build a predictable and repeatable sales model. All right. You see, you don't want your people doing what they want, when they want, saying what they want, however they want, right? That's a recipe for failure. What you want to do is, as an inside sales manager, is you want to construct a model, a model that you know the specific activity and the specific language patterns that you need to facilitate in order to get the outcome that you're looking for. Now, your outcomes could be different. Some of you are using inside sales to generate qualified sales leads, to generate product demonstrations or evaluations. Some of you have inside sales forces that literally you do everything from opening the account to closing the business over the phone. Either way, you need a model that shows your people exactly what to do and what to say and how to say it in every situation so they get the outcome that you're looking for. They get the required number of appointments, demonstrations, or monthly revenue that you're looking for. So specifically what that model needs to encompass is how many dials per hour do they need to make, how many contacts per hour do they need to make, and how many conversions per hour do they need to make. And that needs to be based on your ability to do it. Because as an inside sales manager, if you can't do it, how are you going to expect your people to do it? So the number one thing you need to do is prove the model, right? And not only from an activity standpoint, but literally what to say when they pick up the phone, what to say when you get an objection, what to say when they say this, what to say when they say that. So the model is going to be very specifically the activity and the language patterns and the behavior that they need to be successful. So you need to be able to do it yourself first. Then once you have the model built, your second responsibility as an inside sales manager is to transfer that model to your people, right? So you're going to teach them everything that they need to do. You're going to teach them what to say. You're going to teach them how to input it into the CRM, when to call back, the proper times, literally everything what to do. And when you teach that model, you have to really ingrain it in them so they do it exactly the same way. All right. One of the beautiful things about inside sales is we can demand and monitor consistency because the conversations are always the same. The personalities change, but we always get the same responses and those responses can be anticipated with unbelievable and smart language patterns to help facilitate the result that we're looking for. So the second thing we need to do is transfer the model, and you do that by testing them written, verbally, and through very rigorous role play. Once that model is transferred, then the third thing you need to do is hold your team accountable to the model, meaning you're gonna make sure that they do the dials per hour, the conversations per hour, the conversions per hour, you're going to make sure that they say exactly the right things at the right time. And that's because you're monitoring them with technology. You're looking at their activity through their CRM and you're doing the professional thing and recording their phone calls and doing QA on their phone calls, coming up with scorecards to make sure each week they understand what they're doing right and what they need to improve upon. So that way the model will take hold. And when you do that, as an inside sales manager, when you build the model, transfer the model, and then hold everybody accountable to the model, you see un unbelievable, predictable, and repeatable results. And that's exactly what you want. 
That's exactly what your CEO wants. That's what your shareholders want. And that's what I want. Get going, get growing. We'll talk to you soon.